So one is, uh, I think, patients and families have a, have a right uh, to be frustrated. It's, it's a devastating disease. And over the years, there has been little progress, but the two drugs that have been approved now almost five or six years ago, uh, one is have an impact. So we shouldn't dismiss them. They slow down the progression of disease, so it's really important to follow recommendations and actually take the drugs if you are prescribed them. The other thing is these drugs and the genetics findings and a few other things have led to an explosion of information about pulmonary fibrosis. So I think a little bit like has been has happened in other diseases, once the, the first two drugs, the first drug is never perfect. The next one is better, the next one is better. And we have now multiple clinical trials. If you would have told me in 2002, when I started sort of being engaged in pulmonary fibrosis, that we would have literally thousands of patients now in clinical trials, I would not have believed you. We actually were not sure that you could do a clinical trial because we didn't know that we would have enough patients. And now there's multiple companies that are doing drug, drug studies. So I think there's a lot of hope. And it is really important because sometimes get people get hung up on the negative. So a study that gets stopped because it didn't work. But that's important because this is an avenue we're not going to follow. So it guides us to sort of the, the right direction. So there's multiple drugs on the horizon in advancing stages of uh, therapy. And I think we're going to see in the next two or three years significant improvement. The one more comment I want to make about the currently FDA approved drugs is if initially some people had doubt about their effect, now we know that they're slow down, slow down, they slow down fibrosis because we've seen them uh, work not only in IPF but in multiple fibrotic lung disease. So you want to think about it and again it's really hard to give a message of hope to the patient who is short of breath, who's facing an unclear future, and to the family who's worried about them. But when we look at it more globally, the lung is actually the first area that we have therapy that is antifibrotic. And that's a big deal. You know, we have the newest class of drugs and we think that we're gonna see very exciting uh, announcements in the next few years because basically it's a, in some ways it's a matter of critical mass. There were very few drug candidates just 10 years ago, now there's probably 15 or 20 of them, multiple companies, thousands of patients in clinical trials and very promising initial results. So the message is of hope.